from Studio 119A in New York. It's the day show with Mr. Silva. Today, Mr. Silva welcomes Matt Gassenheimer and special celebrity guest Conan O'Brien. And now, here's your host, Mr. Silva. Hey, everybody. Oh, how are you doing? Wow, we made it. Finally. Oh, please, stop, stop. Oh, oh, please, oh, come on, now. Holy cow. Wow, we've done it. The pandemic is over. Welcome to the day show, uh, season two. I'm your host, Mr. Silva. We've got a great show for you today. But first, let's take a look at our new set. Look at this place. Yeah, it's incredible. Come on, give it a round of applause. Yeah, yeah, come on. Round of applause for our set. Okay, now I need to clarify some things for our viewers at home on the YouTubes. This is not Jericho HD, another storied program produced by our illustrious team of video production students. Jericho HD is on hiatus for now, but don't worry, fans, it will return, most likely after this program gets canceled. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, and, and, and look at this, I even have a new sidekick, Gabby Benayoun. Gabby, yeah, give it up for Gabby. How you doing there, Gabby? All right, uh, and as you know from season one, Gabby's job is to basically affirm everything I say, especially my jokes. Isn't that right, Gabby? That is my job. Boss. <laughs> ah. All right. All right, folks. So, um, uh, so folks, uh, why, don't you, why don't you tell people kind of what's going on over here today? Well, uh, hello, people. We are what's called in the business a live-to-tape production. There's no editing here. This is live, baby. Only it's not happening now. We filmed it live and it will be broadcasted at a later time, like now, like when you're watching it. But here with the new production equipment here in Studio 119A, we can do things like this with no editing required. Camera one, camera two, camera three. Isn't that cool? Very cool. Isn't that cool, people? Yeah. <laughs> live to tape. All right. So, uh, so Gabby, what's new in Jericho Landia? What are the kids talking about these days over in the cafeteria? What's what's the hip lingo? What, yeah, what's what's happening? Uh, <laughs> well, the Jericho Theater Production Organization has been awarded the rights to perform Frozen the musical here at our All school. All right, Frozen. Oh! Yeah. 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 Essentially, that means we are the only school in New York State that has the rights to perform that show. Yeah. Pretty cool. Along with that, the day show's own Annalise Santiago has interviewed some of the producers of the show. So let's take a look. My name is Theone Renato, Mama T of the theater department. My name is Lauren Marchand. Hi, um, I'm Chloe Salva. And I am the director and feed crazy nut in charge of theater. And I'm the president of Thespian Honor Society. I'm vice president of publicity for Thespian Honor Society. Okay, typically when we choose a show, we look to see um, what's going to fit most of the characters that have been back and return with us. I look out for the seniors a lot of the times to see if roles will fit them. It is their last year to be here. For some of them, it's probably going to be the last time that they do anything with theater, so I want to make sure that at least the opportunities are there. That, but that's basically what we look for. Excited. I mean, I when we got the list of possible shows for Miss Renato, I didn't really think that we would win the competition. We submitted for it like, I'd say like four hours before it was due. So we kind of didn't really think it was going to happen, but it did. And we're so grateful and we're so excited and it's going to be really great. Come see it. I first heard about that, I was out of words because it's like a great opportunity for other people to see what it is to be a theater kid and what it means to be weaved into a community full of people that love theater. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Oh, that was awesome. That was really great. All right, so we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll be joined by one of Jericho's own film directors, Matt Gassenheimer. So don't touch that dial. We'll be right back. Has cleaning up after dinner always been a hassle? Say no more with the VAC 2000. Clean up tedious and dusty surfaces with different modes. With easy disposal and quick charging, it is truly an innovation. Call 929-454-4888 in the next 15 minutes and receive the deals on screen. All right, welcome back. 
Uh, my first guest today is a young artist here at Jericho whose latest film, Tides, was recently accepted into the Shockfest Film Festival. You may also recognize him as that kid who sits behind you in math class. Please join me in welcoming Matt Gassenheimer. Hey, Matt, how you doing? Good to see you. All right, we're going to give you a second to get that microphone on. Okay, yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Matt, how you doing? Thanks so much for... Gabby. Am I, am, I, am, I, uh, am I in the middle of something here? Nah, nah, it's good. It's, it's all good. All right, how are you, Mr. Silva? I'm, I'm good. Thank you so much for coming, being, uh, being here on the, the day show with us. Well, I kind of didn't have a choice, but you, you know. You are scheduled to be here. It is your sixth period class, so there is that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so, uh, so how's your year going so far? Uh, yeah, I mean, grades just came out. I kind of had a little bit of a freak out, but you know, mm -hmm. it's Jericho. A B plus is considered bad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, what do you think of our situation here? This is pretty good. It's an upgrade from, uh, from the old days, yeah? Uh, yeah, no, I definitely have nostalgia for 121, but the set is definitely, you know, one of the sets of all time. For the folks at home that don't know, 121, of course, is our old classroom. This is our, our new classroom. We just moved in here a couple, couple weeks ago. Yeah, uh, it's... Uh, Fun fact, also for the people at home, we used to have the old weekend update set from, like, the 70s. Uh, I'd say that this is definitely a more modern version of that set, in a way. All right. Um, well, anyway, uh, so Tides, this film that you made. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, I understand you brought a clip. What, uh, what, what are the folks at home going to see? I'd like to start off with the, with the clip, if we could. Well, uh, I shouldn't talk much. Uh, Tides is a film that is very much up to viewers' interpretation, so let's just play the clip. All right, let's check it out. <laughs> dude. Oh my god, dude. That was awesome. That was awesome. Uh, really well done. And uh, so, so tell me, you didn't make that here at Jericho. That was from another program. No, I made that at my summer program called SoCappa. It was in Vermont. Very nice place. A uh, very nice program until everyone got COVID. That you know wasn't so that'll, nice. That'll but. put a damper on things. Um, and uh, one of the things I have to say, I, I I've, I've seen the movie. I, I really do like the movie. And, and the movie is a, is definitely a a, a big. Um, production step for you. You've definitely grown leaps and bounds as a filmmaker and a visual communicator. It's, it's pretty good. Right, right, Gabby, have you seen the film? I have seen the film. I'm among one of the many that uh, actually enjoyed it. Ringing endorsement there. I don't yeah. know what the implications of that are, but thank you. <laughs> and and um, so the Shock Film Festival, is that something that people can go to? How can people go to see your film? And All right, so the Shock Fest Film Festival, the one, uh, they have in-person events, but the one I got into, accepted into is an online event, and tickets to that will be available in the description of this video. All right, awesome. Uh, well, um, well, thank you. Thank you so much for coming. We really appreciate it. Of course, of course. It. And again. we'll definitely love to have you on again uh, when, you're, when your next project comes out. Which, what is the next project? Uh, well, I actually starred in one of my friend's recent films that we shot over the weekend called oh. Lost Forever. I don't know exactly when that's coming out, but I know it's coming out within the next couple of days. And... My next, like, directorial project, you know, we'll see. I have other things in the works, too. I have an album in the works, a fashion line. I'm, I'm like, Real I'm trying here. to, I'm trying to, like, step. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's incredible. I'm trying to, like, step away from being just a filmmaker and become a well-rounded, full artist. Very you, impressive, Matthew Gassenheimer. You don't Thank want to you pigeonhole Gabby. yourself. How old are you again? Sixteen. Sixteen. All right. Awesome. Well, um, uh, oh, oh. I'm just receiving news from my producer that Conan O'Brien is unfortunately not going to be able to join us today. Oh, no. Yeah, my apologies. Oh, no. Who my could apologies have known? to the viewers who stuck it out this long and wanted to see me interview Conan. We'll reschedule for sure. But uh, again, thank you so much, Matt uh, Gassenheimer, for coming uh, and joining us. Um, 
But before uh, we go, uh, you know, I wanted to thank everybody, and, and I, I think Gabby, you, you kind of wanted to say a couple things too, yeah. We wanted to thank everyone for all your support and kind words about the day show season one. The program that we produced uh, during the early days of the pandemic. The seniors who are helping make this version of the show were freshmen back when we made that first iteration from Mr. Silva's living room. Prior to the pandemic, the video production studio had been gearing up to make a late, late night daytime talk show, only to have our plans thwarted by a pesky global pandemic that devastated our planet and disrupted our production goals for the last two plus years. But after two years of hybrid learning, two years of masks, a move across the hall into a new studio and countless hours of hard work, we're back online and eager to bring you our famous brand of moderately entertaining, mildly funny content you've come to expect. Here at The Day Show, our efforts can be summed up in the great words of the great English poet, Sir Richard Astley. We're never going to give you up. We're never going to let you down. Never going to run around and desert you. Never going to make you cry. Never going to say goodbye. Never going to tell a lie and hurt you. Hit it, Nick! Well, that's our show, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Season two, we did it! We did it! Come on! Come on out, everyone! <laughs>